Now, there's a gradual transformation taking place in education. The University of Cape Town recently launched its online high school and says it aims to change the face of education. It's now offering adults an opportunity to complete their matric. So for more on this, we're now joined by Andy Swakagaza, the UCT High School's director, as well as principal. Andy, so great to have you back. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, quite an important conversation to have. Uh, you were still explaining to me uh, the introduction of, you know, matric. This is an opportunity for any adult who doesn't have uh, that, uh, you know, certificate mm. to actually conclude it. Yes. So we, we recently launched our Cambridge curriculum as well as our adult matric offering. And that's primarily because, Dumelo, we know that a lot of people, for various reasons, were not able to complete their grade 12. And we felt that it's important for us to provide the opportunity because it is online and most of these adults are now working um, in various jobs and they can still manage to do their work without being in a school or being in a physical space due to time constraints. So mm -hmm. we are, it's an attempt to, to reach out um, and make it easy um, for those who did not previously have the opportunity to finish their grade 12. Yeah. And, and for those perhaps uh, who are not necessarily working or don't have access, you know, to a means online or the Internet, is there is there a way that you're assisting them or bridging that gap? Not now. So we, we are though working uh, very closely with different corporate um, South, uh, corporate companies in South Africa, particularly retailers. Um, that employ a lot um, of people. And we're trying to see how we can collaboratively fund some of, of, of these um, people. Sometimes it's people within their own um, companies, um, but other times it's just scholarships that we, we, we're looking to, to get. Um, so we don't have anything yet right mm. now, but these are discussions that we currently have, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when someone thinks of UCT, I think one of the, you know, intimidating, and this could really be a misconception, it might be pricing. Um, is it affordable uh, mm -hmm. to study with UCT's uh, high school, you know, system? Is it something that's inclusive of, you know, everyone? Um, or is there a certain, you know, a class or financial status you need to be in? So it's... Um, we, we still think it's affordable. Mm. But also we understand that the, even within that affordability, um, there is still a group of, of people that simply can't afford it. Um, I mean, our current school fees is 2,095 um, rand a month. And, and still, majority of South Africans still cannot access that. Mm. Majority of South Africans still, still can't buy their own laptops. Still can't, you know, so there's still constraints. Um, and we are aware of those constraints. And we, we're working hard to see what other ways are there to circumvent um, the constraints we have. Um, it doesn't stop us, you know, from innovating and pioneering and doing all of the work we're doing. But we have to be cognizant of the fact that we still want more people to be able to access this high quality education. Absolutely. What other support do you offer? I mean, even uh, generally as, uh, you know, UCT high school, I know it's not just about uh, academia and just academics. There's also other support uh, to ensure the experience um, is comfortable, to mm. ensure that the, because it's online, it could be very uh, lonesome. It could be a lonesome experience. But I understand you do have support yeah. structures. We do. We've got a virtual community. We've got support coaches um, that do daily um, check-ins with, with their students just to make sure that everyone is actually awake, ready for the day, aware of what needs to be done. Everyone is staying on pace. Um, and, and that's our general school curriculum right now is that we, we, we're finding different ways of making sure that there is engagement um, learners are able to book ask me anything sessions from teachers if there's a mm. concept they don't understand um, specifically. We have virtual clubs, um, you know, which is non-academic uh, gathering of different students according to their interests. So yes, there is a virtual community um, that we create because we know that it, it does get lonely working alone from home. So creating these spaces is an important part of it. Right. And in my last question to you before I let you go, Yandi, so I mean, an, an adult can say, listen, uh, I don't know if a matric certificate can add any value uh, to my life at this point. Perhaps a younger person uh, who still has, you know, their whole life ahead of them. What would your advice be to that adult who's almost caught in between deciding whether to pursue this matric program or not? No, oh, I'll definitely encourage um, adults. In fact, Jumelo, I think a lot of adults know that 
grade 12 creates a lot of pathways, a national senior certificate. And mm. sometimes we often think that it's a pathway to university, but we have TVET colleges, which are also a very necessary pathway that is something more technical, quicker skills um, mm. development, practical. And it's not all, university is not the end all and be all um, of you know, a, a single pathway. We have other options. Diplomas are also a necessary part of mm. our e economy. So I would say that I would strongly encourage um, anyone who has not had the opportunity to really pursue their grade 12 as a way of getting them into other streams um, and, and other opportunities. Well, I appreciate you speaking to us and I hope that every adult who uh, has an opportunity to, of course, enroll to do so and get them a trick and, of course, a kickstart, a great future and pathway for themselves. Thank you so much, Andy Sakakasa, for joining us, UCT High School's director and principal.